Hi Scorpio, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm going to be doing your September 11th through the 17th weekly love reading. I have to warn you, they've turned out to be more not so much love readings. We'll see what comes up for you. If this does or does resonate, great. If it doesn't, then so be it. You have to remember this is for um, hundreds and thousands of people so it will not resonate with everybody. This is for the sign of Scorpio. September 11th through the 17th. I have pre-shuffled these with the bridge three times as I do for every sign before I turn the camera on. Ooh, we got a couple. Ooh, look at that. This is a devil card. This is that's a Capricorn. I was waiting for you to come up, and here you are. You're right here. You're about to start a wonderful new phase of your life if you haven't already. With that devil card, the death card, and the world card, there's a lot of karma here. Okay, karma or divine guidance. We'll, we'll see what else we can get. I need to deal the cards before I talk. I have a hard time with that. I start talking before the cards are dealt. You definitely have some divine guidance here, put it that way. There's no doubt about it. There's there's some divine presence. I don't know if it's you connected to the divine or what, but there is some divine energy. All right, with all the major cards that are here. You know the major arcana cards. Okay. So the first card, the devil card, that's about control, power and control. All right, so there's some definitely some power con power and control issues this week. It's also about desires. I do see with the world card right below it that is <clears throat> time for a new start, something new, something a new phase of your life is is on the horizon if it hasn't started already. The world card's great. It means something has completed and something new is ahead of you. And it looks like it's going to be very abundant with the Ten of Pentacles up there. It's going to be abundant. There's going to be balance and harmony. There could be a, there could be a, a traction between somebody that is very um, that you are very connected with. There could be a mutual attraction. There could be a new partnership if you're not already in a partnership right now. But there's definitely a deep attraction between you and somebody else that is. You know, there's a strong connection. Looks like there's a lot of excitement, um, a lot of passion, a lot of intense energy. A lot of, um, there. you know, there's a lot of sexual energy here. So there's a sexual attraction between you and somebody else. You might have to let go of something, though, because right here we have the hangman. It's about letting go. So I don't know what it is that you have to let go of, but it looks like you're stuck in a situation that you want to let go of. Maybe you're attracted to somebody, that, but you you know, can't move forward because you're stuck someplace else. But the hangman comes up when it, that, that you must struggle through it. You must look at something from a new perspective, all right? Something has to be looked at from a new perspective. You know, maybe this right here is, hold on a minute. Wait a minute, and I'm not sure if I told you this or not. What you own owns you. Okay, so and right up here is this Ten of Pentacles. So if you're focusing on materialistic things, which is, this is a very materialistic card as well. So it makes me think that maybe you are focusing on materialistic things of quite a bit this week, you know. Um, I see that. I see that, definitely. More than I do love. It could be affecting your love life, put it that way. Finances and career and materialistic um, things could be affecting your love life, just the way it is. Um, up there, the Seven of Swords, that's some kind of deceit of some sort. You know, there's like a um, something that needs moderation. And something, something that is causing some moping, you know, crying over something that is when there's more to be had. There's no reason. It looks like there's still some healing that needs to be done. 
There is, and there's a need to escape from something. You know, that's bringing you down. There's something that is bringing you down, Scorpio. There's something that's bringing you down, but it's, it's kind of like unnecessary worry. It's like things aren't turning out the way that you had hoped. Um, or they didn't turn out the way you had hoped. We have a Leo here, but it's very exciting. Okay, this is Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This is Leo. This is um, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. This is you, Scorpio. We have a Capricorn over here. Um, this is action, moving towards love. So that must be you, moving towards love with somebody who is very beautiful. Okay, inside and out, that has a lot of grace. And there, there's a lot of excitement here because this is, you know, a new, it's kind of like a new love that's on the way. And that could be you headed in a direction away from this materialistic thing, whatever it is. Or these desires or this attraction or whatever it is that wasn't good. Letting go. This is letting go. This is also a Sagittarius, but this is letting go of something that was um, not healthy. Letting go of something that wasn't healthy. But your new love could be a Leo, could be an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. That, that Seven of Cups is about choices, okay? Where are you going to focus your energy? Are you going to focus it on materialistic things or are you going to focus it on love? Be careful about what choice you make because what you own owns you. So that card comes up and there's something when you really need to be careful about the choices you make this week. That's why that card came up. Think twice. Think twice. This is the think twice card. It is. Whatever comes up, make sure you think twice this week. Because this is deception of some sort. Okay? This is about equal give and take. So just, just be careful about something. Something could happen that, you know, might be a little deceiving. So make sure you think twice. I think that you've been preparing for something. You have been healing. You've been working on letting go. Perhaps you have a... A love in your life that you are very very attracted to that there's a lot of passion um, but you're still letting you're still crying over something that didn't work out in the past and I think that's your own that must be you deceiving yourself I betcha but I see you moving forward and I think you're moving you're you're bringing love and, and you're headed in another direction that's what I think I do. I think you're headed in another direction with love. There you are again. Look at that. Right next to each other, too. You have been working on healing right next to each other. And I think your hopes and wishes are starting to be fulfilled. Finally. All right. I think that your foundation is finally starting to come together. Starting. You know, the foundation, all the things that you have been through, you know, they're starting to come together and the foundation is starting to build. All right? Because your next phase is right around the corner if it hasn't happened already. I think the new, I think you are on your way. I think you're on your way to stability and security. I do. Somebody could be jealous. Somebody could be jealous of your newfound love. Oh, that could be it.
it looks to me like you have to make a decision. You really have to cut somebody out, I think. I think, okay? This right here is realizing somebody's leaving and she's not even looking because this is the after tarot. Now she realizes there's somebody else. This is a he or a she. That there is another choice. This one lets them go. Go. Just go. I don't need you. There's somebody else for me. And now I think somebody is jealous of your newfound love. Because you're happy. And you've started a new life. And you've started a new phase. And it looks good. If this hasn't, if it doesn't, if this hasn't happened, then it's, this could be happening this week where you meet somebody and somebody is jealous. Look at these cards wanting to come right out. This one came out first. Finances and career. Did I say that earlier to you? If I didn't, it was somebody else. Finances and career. Financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. They are. I think that's a hindrance for you. I think you feel like you can't provide enough, but you can. You feel like, yeah, I think that's what part of the issue. Like I said, materialistic things. That's not, I mean, don't, that's not. Getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. I see somebody that you are deeply connected to here in this reading. I do. I think you're about to, I think you have started or you are about to start a phase of life with them that could be very much long term. But I think somebody's not happy about it. Because they expected you to come running after them. Religious factors. Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. This is, your love life is influenced by your upbringing and path. If you're not that spiritual. It can be religious factors. Everybody is different. Beliefs. Your love life is influenced by your religious beliefs. I'm sure that you can figure that out, what that card means for you. But I see you starting something brand new in your life, a new phase, which is long-term with that world card. It's a big deal. When the world card comes up, it means that you have learned one lesson, and it's time to learn another one. And that's where you're at in your life right now. And it's a big deal. It's, a, it's something long-term. Either change has happened, big change, or big change is on the horizon for you. So that's what I have for this week, Scorpio. Talk to you later.